This video will demonstrate how to create a multi-step form using BitForm. First, creating a new form. Next, add the desired fields to your form. To add additional steps, simply click on the plus icon. You can drag the steps from first to last or vice versa to arrange the steps. To customize the step, click on the three dots icon. From there, you have the option to step, setting, clone, and delete the step. Now, proceed to add fields for steps 2 and 3. To customize the multi-step header, click on the settings icon or directly on the step header. The default theme is now available for selection. You have the option to toggle the display of the header, as well as customize the header label and subtitle. You can modify or hide the icon type from this toggle button. To remove the progress bar, simply click on the option. You also have the option to hide or change the position of the step button, such as placing it at the top or bottom of the page. You can customize the text of the previous and next buttons and even add an icon. Enable Validate on Step Change option to validate field input on step change. Enable Step Header Switchable option to switch steps by clicking on the Step Header icon and title. Enable Maintain Step History option to Step Flow History will be maintained when clicking on the previous button. Enable Save Step Progress option to save user input as draft when clicking the next button. To customize the step, click on the three dots located next to the text in the step. Select Settings from the drop down menu that appears or click on the step header. In the settings menu, you will find options to change the icon type for the step header. If you want to change the step header icon, navigate to the multi-step settings section and modify the icon type as desired. You can toggle the option to show or hide the step header, as well as modify the step label and step subtitle. Now change the label of each step and hide the subtitle of each step. To move the submit button from step 1 to step 3, navigate to step 1. Select the submit button option. Click on the move button from the submit button pop up. Finally, click on step 3. Once you have made the desired changes, click on update to save them. Next, proceed to create a new page. 
Add the Bitform block to the page and then publish it. Fill out the form and submit it. Thanks for watching.